Hi everyone, it's Tiqua Scarborough. How you doing? Good evening, good evening, good evening. How's everyone? I'm waiting for some folks to come in, come in, come in, come in. I just popped on for a minute. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about one way to find clients. So come on in, come on in, everyone, please come in. For those who are new to the group, my name is Tiko Scarborough. I am a virtual assistant coach to help you get more clients and increase your income. So come in and let's talk about one way to find clients, especially for the new virtual assistants that um, are looking to find clients. This is one way to find clients. So come in, come in, come in. Let's talk about it. Come and ask me some questions. Um, someone had reached out to me personally to, uh, to ask me this question. They asked me, how do you go about getting referrals um, for clients? So I thought that maybe I should just pop into the group and I'll tell everybody instead of that one person. <laughs> so hopefully that one person that asked me um, will pop on today or if not, she'll see the replay. So one way to um, get clients is through referrals, 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 referrals. So you wanna ask for referrals, you do not absolutely do not want to wait for them to be given or wait for your clients to um, refer you. So one way to ask for referrals is reaching out to your former clients, reaching out to friends, re reaching out to family, reaching out to ex coworkers or managers of a company that you work for. So I'm pretty sure that everyone had a job or two or more um, sometime in their life before they became a virtual assistant or even decided to start this virtual assistant journey. So I just wanted to pop on just to let you know how you can do that by getting referrals. Um, referrals are great, um, especially if you have happy clients. And if you do not have any clients, you currently have any clients, then I'm going to tell you how you can still get those referrals. So one, is that you want to reach out to friends and family first. You want to start with your friends and family. For uh, one way or another, you have done a service for your friends or a family, whether you have um, created PowerPoint, did a spreadsheet, did a flyer, whatever you're good at, I'm pretty sure that you have offered these services to your friends and family for free. Because I know that when I was um, younger, because I, I, when I was 19, I had my, my, my um, oldest son. And, you know, you have to have a side hustle. You have to work. And then you also have to, a woman always have to have a side hustle. So what I used to do, I used to braid hair. And I used to braid hair for free. So it got to a point where it's like, you know what? I'm not working. I'm pregnant. I need to make some money. So how I did that is I started doing, reaching out to the people that I did their hair for free and ask them to get, um, ask them for referrals. So if they had friends or um, relatives that needed their hair braided, they refer them to me. And that's how I received clients um, to do hair at that time. And that's what I did in my business as well. So what you want to do is you want to reach out to the companies that you worked for, whether it's a small company large corporation, doesn't matter, whoever you work for, reach out to the supervisors, the managers, your coworkers to give you referrals. They know people. They know people with businesses. They know friends with businesses. They have um, family members that probably have a business that can use your service. And whatever your service is, you know, they can express that to their family members or friends. So that's one way of doing that. And how do you ask for it? just by reaching out to them, just that simple, reach out to them. If you know that they glowed about your um, services, reach out to them and say, don't reach out to them if you have not got like a glowing review and they didn't say anything about your service. So although maybe you thought that you did a great job and you probably did, I'm not saying that you didn't, but maybe that client wasn't as happy as you thought that client would be. 
right? Or the person that you did that project for. So you always want to reach out to clients that were happy about your service, that gave you glowing reviews. That's what you want to do. So one, we talked about friends and family. So that's what you want to do. You want to reach out to your friends and families for those referrals, okay? Two, you want to reach out to the people that you worked with. And by doing that, you could give them a phone call or you could simply send them an email. And I have a template that I have given um, some of my virtual assistants for referrals for their business and that I use myself, that I had came up with. Um, it's short and it's to the point. And I'm gonna put that in a group for you so you can use that. You could tweak it however you see fit. But I will advise you that when you use this um, template, you wanna make it short and to the point. You don't wanna leave too much open-ended um, questions or anything like that because you're calling, you, you, you're going, you're sending them an email asking for this referral. You're asking for what you want. So don't start rambling about other things and then at the end ask for what you want. No, make it short and to the point. So I'm just going to go over the email that I have so you can understand um, what I'm talking about. So in the email, is you want to say, how are you and your company? company doing right so one you want to open it up how you're doing because you don't want to just go in and say oh you know I, I need a referral so you want to say how you're doing and how's your company because if this is a past um, client or someone that you work with you want to make sure that you say you know ask them how they are doing and how the business now if this was a, a client that was happy with your services you want to send that email saying that you know I'm checking in and letting you know I enjoy working with you. So you want to open it up, letting them know that you really enjoy working with them on whatever task you have done for them or a project. And then you check it in just to say, hey, you know, I would love to hear how it's going, you know, how the project went or the task I did, is it working well for you or whatever. That's it. You can leave it like that. Or you could add on and say, well, when you have time, let's chat. If you really do want to chat about it and you want to talk about that project, maybe it's something that you could probably do better for that client um, or whatever it may be. Then in your second paragraph, you want to say on another note, I am looking to work with new clients. That is it. You just let them know you want to work with new clients. Can you connect me to anyone or companies in your network? that could use my services? That is it. That's the question that you want to um, ask in your second paragraph. And then once you do that, you put in, here's my contact information. You want to include the website. You want to include your email. You want to include your telephone number as well as your social media handle. And the reason why I say put that, although they may have the information already, but you don't want the client, your past client, to go looking for your information. They probably will have to go look up your website and all that stuff. Make it easy for them. Put all your information in that one email. So that way, you know, they're busy. You know, they don't have time to do all that stuff, even though they want to help you out because you did a great job for them, but you want to make it easy for them. That's what we do. We try, we make things easy for our clients, right? So you put all information in that email. And what you're going to do is you're going, what they're probably going to do is forward that email on to somebody else. And when they forward it, all your information is in that one email. So they don't even have to say, they could just say, hey, this is the virtual assistant I was talking to you about. You may need um, her for such and such service. But information is at the end of the email, check her out or whatever. So that's what you want to do in that email um, to try to see who else did this. Okay. So that's what you want to do in that email. You want to um, make it short and sweet. You want to let them know what you want, and then you want to put all your information in there. So these referrals, when you ask them for referrals, make sure that these are clients that love your services. Don't send it to someone who has not given you a testimony or even said anything about, oh, you did a great job or anything like that, because you're not sure. So to be sure, reach out to the people that loved your service um, and gave you a, rate, a great review 
a great testimony. And if this client, so this is another great segue into getting the testimony from that client as well. If you have not got that testimony from the client, then that's your way of getting the testimony as well. If you want to include that in the email, by the way, you know, I, I, if you could just go on my um, page, link is here, my Facebook code, and just give me a, a, a review on a project I did for you, that would be so awesome. You know, these are the things that you want to, you have to go out and you have to ask for what you want. Um, you can't just wait around for clients just to, to just drop into your lap. It's not going to happen. Just because you post uh, things on social media doesn't mean that clients are just going to just randomly go to your page and do that. You have to go out and you have to do the work. Being a virtual assistant in the virtual assistant business, it's a lot of work. And I know that <laughs> because I have two businesses. It's a lot. So you have to do the work. But when you do the work, believe me, it's going to pay off later. So this is what I wanted to come on to you to talk about the one way to find client, clients, and that's through referrals. Uh, I'm going to pop in. Um, I guess we're going to be coming live to, on live tomorrow. So maybe we'll talk more about um, um, getting clients as well. But this is one way referrals. Remember that. And I'm going to post the template in the group for anybody who wants to um, to use the template. You want to tweak it, you know, use it to how you want, you see fit. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to pop on to live to share that information that I was going to share to this one person. So I figured that I just share it to everybody. <laughs> So that's all I have to say today about clients. Again, my name is Tiko Scarborough. I am a virtual assistant coach to help you get more clients and increase your income. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below or share a post in the, the, um, the group and tag me to say, hey. All right, guys. Good evening.